to engineer at Cloudflare. Um, so actually, if you notice, our office is right upstairs. So we hope to see you guys more uh, in future. Um, so together with me is um, also my colleague Ziggis. He's hiding behind the pillar. He's our SRE. So here in Singapore, we actually have quite a sizable team. Hello, say hi to Ziggis. <laughs> Yeah, so um, we have a quite sizable team here. It's now about 40, 50 people. So it's not just sales, but engineers like me and also support and network and system engineers here. So, um, and we're quite excited to be here because um, Cloudflare, uh, if, um, first, a show of a hand, who have heard about Cloudflare before, before this? Oh, that's awesome. That, which means that I can go, I can leave now, right? <laughs> okay, just kidding. So, um, we're quite excited because we are um, we're a Silicon Valley based company. So we actually, from the very beginning, we have actually quite uh, good ties with open source community uh, and WordPress is one of them, right? So when security, when new security vulnerabilities are closed, we are one of them, uh, one of a few ones who are in the market to patch them for most of the customers, right? So that's great. So uh, I think today's my topic is uh, speed up and protect your WordPress sites. Um, so you can do that with Cloudflare. You can also do, do that with some other similar players in this space. Uh, but in this case, since I'm from Cloudflare, I use Cloudflare as a, just an example. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna you know, go through the command line and show you all the colorful you know, commands that engineers use. I'm trying to make it visual and show you how to, do, how to get things done um, you know, within the reverse proxy solution I'm gonna talk about um, in this presentation. Okay, so as a, so at the, at, at the, very, at the very first place, right, so why, need, why you need to care about web performance, right? So I think for a lot of people here in this room, you probably already heard about uh, in July, um, Google has made a mobile page speed part of the uh, search engine ranking, right? And they have been making it part of their uh, search engine ranking for years, and now they are making it, um, they are applying that to mobile as well, right? So, which, which means that if your website loads faster, you actually get higher ranking from Google. So obviously that helps a lot with, you know, uh, discoverability of your site. Uh, the second thing why you need to, uh, you know, think about web performance, and why you need to care about it is that, um, it also helps uh, with the user in engagement, right? So in a now pretty well-known um, research done by Walmart in 2012, it's quite some time ago, um, what they found is that with every single, uh, with 100 milliseconds of additional latency, they, their user uh, engagement or conversion rate, in this case, drops by 1%, right? So it's quite a significant difference impact uh, given the volume that Walmart handles on their e-commerce uh, platforms. And of course, this is the same um, um, you know, uh, theory applies to e-commerce website, but it also applies to you know, social media and even your personal blog, right? Um, so yeah, that's another reason why you need to care about. Um, since just now we talk about performance, another thing we need to I think right now we all need to think about is security, right? You know, security is something that, it's something somewhat, you know, obscure because it seems to be people are, you know, people are thinking about cryptography and hackers who find those uh, obscure vulnerabilities and launch uh, nation state attacks and stuff like that. But actually the threat is more common nowadays because um, with the, t the, all the hacking tools become actually are generally available on our dark net or if you are, Interested enough, you can find it somewhere, and you can do it. You can scan the entire internet relatively easy nowadays, because there are only so many IP addresses nowadays, right? So, so that's what we see nowadays is that even if you run a, like a personal blog site or SME, you are, you are SME, you run a, your uh, small uh, shop front, you sometimes get defacement, you know, and those defacement or you know hacking a website can be you know, driven by different agenda, right? Sometimes it's just a group of angry people from somewhere in this region overseas who just want to hack your site to improve their skills, hacking skills, for example. Or sometimes it can be because they want to hold you ransom, they want to ask for money from you, they want to get some Bitcoins from you and 
you just hold your site on ransom, right? So, so of course, um, uh, with you know new security vulnerabilities coming out every day, it also gives more room for hackers to exploit your website, right? Um, so that's you know hacking and exploits. The second part of it is um, encryption uh, or SSL, right? So if you notice, uh, if you're in this space, you probably have um, seen this news from Chrome, the Chrome, Google Chrome team. Uh, from, from July 2018, which is last month, they are marking all the HTTP-only sites, meaning that sites without HTTPS or SSL is not secure, right? And if you actually go to my website, my test website, maxwell.cf, and you visit the HTTP version of that, you get a red letter that says that your connection to this site is not secure, and you should enter by any sensitive information, et cetera, right? So that definitely gonna scare a lot of your visitors out if you only have a site on HTTP and they're using Chrome. And, and the, the reason why Chrome is attracting a lot of attention is because they are typically the early start, they, they are the pioneer in this industry. So once Chrome start doing that, a lot of other browsers will start doing that. I know Mozilla, uh, the Firefox is already doing something like that. And uh, we can expect that to happen to other like mobile browsers and other browsers pretty soon. Yeah. Okay, so we have talked enough about the problems. Now let's talk about the solutions, right? So I'm getting a little bit technical here uh, because I'm using a technical term for that. It's, uh, there's a solution for this problem called the reverse proxy. Now let, let's make it visual, right? So what do we mean by reverse proxy, right? So without a reverse proxy, your users here on the left who are visiting a website using a browser will use internet to use to visit your, serve, your website, your WordPress site here hosted on the, on the server. And the server can be on DigitalOcean, can, can be on Bluehost, it can be on GCP, it can be on AWS, it can be anywhere. It can be self-hosted on your Raspberry Pi. Um, but this is kind of scary because you are basically exposing your infrastructure, your web hosting infrastructure to the rest of the internet. And we all know that there are lots of bad guys on the internet, right? So that's the reason why people come up with this idea of reverse proxy. So as the name suggests, as a proxy, what they do is that they, they are the one who are exposed to the internet. And they get all their traffic from the internet for you, and they drop those traffic, they block those bad traffic, and pass the clean traffic to you. And another thing they do is that as a reverse proxy, I can cache stuff. Meaning that if you have like a huge image files on your web page, a reverse proxy can save a copy of that on the reverse proxy so that the same requests don't need to go to your origins or your servers. Right. So, so it's both a performance and security you know, tool uh, for website owners. And obviously, as a, at the beginning, I mentioned Cloudflare is just one of them. Uh, if you are in this space, you probably heard about Nginx or Varnish. They are quite popular open source projects, uh, and they have been deployed at scale for lots of um, you know, uh, WordPress sites as well. Right. Um, yep. Any questions so far? No? OK. So, so just now I you know, talk about the benefits of reverse proxy uh, in a more technical term. Now let's drill down to look at what it actually does, right? So the first thing, uh, just now I mentioned caching. So now let's put it in the, let's use Cloudflare as an example, right? So Cloudflare here right now, we have 152 uh, low, uh, data centers across the world, right? What it also means is that we can save copies of your assets, meaning your images, your videos, your audio files, or CSS files, on one of our locations, or all our locations, depending on where your visitors come from. And put it into a layman term, it's like serving the content in your viewers' internet neighborhood, right? And the, um, and the technical term for that is called CDN, Content Distribution Network, right? So you probably will hear that term coming up more and more as I go by. And to draw an analogy in the physical world, right? So I like to use this analogy, right? Um, Let's say I'm like, uh, uh, I love drinking, you know, Wulong tea. I could buy a canned tea from, uh, uh, from my favorite supermarket, but 
there are only so many fair price uh, you know, stores in Singapore. But instead of going to fair price, what I can do is I can go to my you know, convenience store in my neighborhood, like 7-Eleven, a good example. Right? You can find it everywhere. And no matter where you go, you'll always find they have, a, they have Coke, they have my favorite green tea, they have other stuff on their shelves. And I can just go there and grab them. Right? Similarly, for Cloudflare, we do the same thing, but on a global scale. So we just talk about performance, right? The CDN piece of it. The second thing it does is um, security, right? So by security, what we mean is basically to keep the bad guys away, right? So, and just now I kind of mentioned that. So because, because as reverse proxy, you are, the, you are kind of like the agent of, uh, a reverse proxy is like the agent of your website, right? So it takes all the traffic from the internet and it will, do some room matching, look at IP addresses, look at your HTTP request headers, and identify the back attackers, right? People that you actually should block, should, shouldn't be allowed to access your website, right? And depending on the different solutions, um, you know, different solutions tend to have different um, ways to mitigate that, so, um, those bad attackers. For us, we have this, uh, one, one of our options is this um, browser check. Um, so you probably have seen that on some website, and what it does is it runs some JavaScript on the browsers and make sure it's the human beings using a valid, you know, Chrome instead of part of botnet, right? So you will keep the bad guys away. Uh, the second thing is that uh, it also help you to um, establish TLS or SSL HTTP secure connections to your users, right? So the sensitive information cannot be intercepted by the bad guys who run a rogue. Wi-Fi access point in your neighborhood, who or whoever who have hijacked your Wi-Fi access point at your home, whatever it is, right? So security, uh, and of course, at the end of the day, you also want, also want to show the green padlock in the browser, in your end user's browser, to give them confidence that you are taking care of their security. So um, actually, before this, I have prepared a demo. Um, it's a, probably like a five minutes demo. It's gonna bring a site to Cloudflare uh, in a really short time. I'm not sure whether, uh, any, are you guys interested yes. at all? Okay, let's do it. All right, so, okay, let me just go to my demo site right here. Okay. All right, so actually right now I have, do have a, my test or demo uh, WordPress site. I call it, uh, cheesily, I call it just a sales florist. Um, I have one called Robinson's Florist, but I, uh, I, I close it. Uh, so, so basically it's a very standard you know, WordPress site uh, with mostly static content. Um, but if you look at that, right, you can notice something. The first thing is that it's not secure, meaning that it only serves HTTP. And if I want to visit the same website using HTTPS, you get error, right? It says your website cannot be reached because this particular site hasn't been configured with SSL or HTTPS. So, uh, and another thing, if you notice, is um, I same as other sites, right? I have a login page, um, and it basically allows everyone to, you know, all the attackers on the internet to run you know, scanners on this particular site and try to find vulnerabilities. There's no check and balances in, in space, in place. Yeah. So now let's bring it to Cloudflare, right? So actually it's just a three steps. There are only three steps. I actually put it into my speaker snow. Let me just um, put here. So you just three steps. First, get an account on Cloudflare. Second, change the DNS, the name servers, meaning the name servers on your registrar to Cloudflare so that we can get your traffic. And the third step is to install our WordPress plugin, it's official plugin from us, so that we can make the entire configuration easier for everyone, right? Okay. So uh, now let's do it now, right? So here, uh, this is my registrar called Freenum. It's a free registrar, uh, perfect for testing. And the same steps can be done on any registrar like GoDaddy or Namecheap or Google Domains, whatever you use. OK. 
Okay. So, and also on the other hand, what I have is that I already have a account on Cloudflare, right? So this is what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna add the name of the my website, so salesflorist.cf. So what's happening on the background is that Cloudflare will do some scanning, try to f copy the existing DNS entries to Cloudflare. And as, uh, this is precisely what our wizard is saying. Um, so I promise you it's for free, right? So that's the reason why here we have a free plan. Uh, it's still free for me uh, for the other plans too because I'm a Cloudflare employee. But <laughs> yeah, don't, don't um, be confused. Yep. So I'm getting a one free plan. Yep, so we have already got your DNS records, right? So for those who are tech savvy, uh, you can see we have already copied the A record for DNS. And it looks good. Let's just continue. So in this steps, um, Cloud, here at Cloudflare, we are basically telling the user that you need to change your current DNS or name servers from Freenum to us. And these are the two, a pair of unique name servers assigned to you. Right, so now let me just do some copy and pasting. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. All right, it looks good to me. So now let's save it. Okay. So while, while I'm making the changes, uh, at Cloudflare, you can see that uh, this site is still being activated, meaning that Cloudflare is doing some scanning to make sure that the DNS server change that have been made correctly. So we are doing this uh, constantly on the on the back on our background. Uh, this typically takes a couple of minutes, and there's no downtime because what's really happening is that instead of um, Letting the traffic go, in, go goes to your um, go to your uh, application directly. Now we are trying to get the traffic from to to us, right? And this process is gradual, um, and there's no downtime again. Yeah. Right. Let's see. Uh, so this typically uh, here we say is allows for 20, 24 hours, but actually it takes much less than that. Um, Let's just do a quick check. What's my DNS? Okay, let me copy this and see how it's been propagated. Okay, yeah, actually it looks good to me. Except for ISP in Germany is caching my old, um, still caching my old DNS and also Australia. All right, okay. So that might be the reason why it's being, um, it's taking some time. Okay, done. The zone is activated. Actually, I just received an email telling me that. Um, so with, this, with the particular domain activated, what it means is that, is that Cloudflare now is taking your traffic, we can process your traffic, and we can provide you with SSO certificates very shortly, yeah. So now let's take a look at uh, my Cecile Flores website. Uh, let me just refresh it. Um, sometimes the local, my, my, my browser will cache the DNS record. So what I do is I, I clear the cache. Now let's refresh the site again. And you can see on my, this little plugin called Claire, this site is all, what we call orange clouded, right? So by orange cloud, what we mean is that this, now this particular site serves from Cloudflare, right? Instead of some other third-party providers, yeah. Uh, so, so if you look at the IP address here, or if you look at, for those who are savvy, if you look at the network, uh, if you look at the response headers, you can see that Cloudflare now appears to all your HTTP responses, yeah. So that's how you can tell sites is on Cloudflare. Um, and if you look at it, you can see for some of the content, like my, the, the, the gigantic uh, photos on my home page is now being 
is a hit on, in our cache, meaning that Cloudflare already have a copy of that, and we're serving that from our cache. Okay. So this is for those who are tech savvy. Um, so now, now we come to our last step is to install the plugin. And trust me, this is actually the easy part. Yeah. So all you need to do is obviously go to plugins and add a new plugin called Cloudflare. Right. So. Okay. So this is already activated. Uh, no, no, okay. It's installed but not activated. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so you can see there's a little uh uh Cloudflare uh, configuration page in your um, WordPress dashboard. So all you need to do is to go back to your account, hit right here at Cloudflare, and copy and paste your settings, uh, which is the API keys from there. Um, so this allows uh, us to configure your um, Cloudflare configuration from your WordPress sites instead of going managing two different dashboards. Right. Okay, so I have this. Wait a second. Sorry, folks. Uh, where's my API keys? Sorry. Oh, here it goes. Yep. Ah. Oh. Sorry, why I don't have my password here. Um, so, we, okay, let me just get it from somewhere else. Copy and paste them here. Global. Oh. oh, that's the wrong password. Um, okay, now it's getting embarrassing, but um, let me see, I can get you something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't save it anywhere. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, okay. <laughs> it's getting embarrassing. Okay. Yeah, I just get it from a keychain then. Looks good. Yeah, the, the reason why we have these checks is to make sure that your password cannot be, um, you know, uh, copied from other cross-site scripting um, bots or scripts or scientists. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Please. Okay, got it. Finally. C1 and Cloudflare. Whew. Yep. So after so much trouble, <laughs> I managed to get in. Um, so actually, the, 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 the Cloudflare plugin for WordPress is pretty simple. It's just, you know, simple buttons like this. Optimize Cloudflare for WordPress. Just click. And also we have this thing, very interesting, called automatic cache management, right? So for, for, for whoever who have used CDNs before, I think 
cache management is a big part of it, right? So you want to make sure that whenever you update your image or your, your style or your theme, you want this, um, the change to be propagated to the rest of the internet immediately, right? So that's the reason why we built this. It will automatically tell Cloudflare to invalidate, the, to clear the old cache. So it's always the latest content who are served to the internet. Yep. So that's basically about it. So now if you go back to Cecile Flores, my website, you can see that it has a valid SSL certs, right? Already here, provided by Cloudflare, right? And all this all comes free, yeah. Um, and of course, there are more features to that, more advanced security features. Um, I mean, I'm more than happy to uh, talk to you a little bit about it. Um, because WordPress can be quite sophisticated uh, sometimes, especially for enterprises. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah. Hi, I want to say all security certificates. Yeah. Mm. 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 Is there any conflict yeah. between these two certificates mm. and mm. That's a very good question. So in this sample, uh, it's a free plan. So we Cloudflare provide a, what we call universal, which is a free SSO search. Yeah, yeah. I mean that Microsoft yes. has mm. their mm. own mm. certificate yeah. provided to mm. the mm. that, That's a very good <laughs> question. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, uh, mm. which certificate will be used for my website? Yep, that's a very good question. Now let's look at this diagram, right? So what you are saying is that Cloudflare here, we automatically get a cert for you, but also on your app hosting provider, they also give you a cert, right? So actually, to your users, what they see is Cloudflare certificates. So uh, it will be used to your certificates. That's correct. But however, we need your host, the, the certs provided by your hosting providers to, to be able to talk to you in SSL. Meaning that we still, we want you to encrypt this part of the traffic as well, right? We don't want anyone sitting in the middle to intercept your traffic. So that's the reason why you still need a cert here. Yeah, okay. yeah that's a very good question. Yeah, please. <coughs> Very good question. Oh, well, you guys have the best questions here. Um, so the answer is yes, and I can show you how you can do that, right? So um, let me repeat the question first. Um, the, the gentleman there is asking whether they can use a self-signed search on their servers um, and yet have some encryption between Cloudflare and your servers, right? The answer is yes. And you can actually do that easily here under the crypto, crypto tab. So crypto in this case means not cryptocurrency, but SSL, yeah. So uh, right now it's default to be flexible. Flexible meaning that we always, Cloudflare always talk to your origin HTTP unencrypted. But if you want, to, want us to support HTTPS with your self-signed search, you can just use what we call full mode. So in the full mode, we only do encryption, but not authentication, right? Meaning that even if it's signed by you or by uh, any, you know, by invalid CA, we'll still recognize that. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Mm. Uh, it's not right. It's not right. It's not. I don't see the SSL. Really? Uh, Uh, is it on Cloudflare or? Oh. Really? Okay. Um, yeah, I'll probably talk to a little bit later. Yeah. Yeah, okay. please. Yeah. In general, for sites that use uses, uh, Cloudflare and not using Cloudflare, the improvement is pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a very good question, right? So uh, um, actually, that's the type of question you typically are run into a lot of times with enter big enterprise customers is that how do you prove that improvement, that there's a performance improvement, right? So Cloudflare, we are unlike some providers that we don't provide performance metrics or measurement because we are not neutral, right? Because we provide that, we always say we are the fastest, right? So, but however, in the industry, there are quite a number of the performance monitoring tools, right? Uh, Pindom is one of them. I, I use a free one for my personal site called Status Cake. There's an entire you know, ecosystem who does monitoring, performance measurement, et cetera, right? So I think the best way to see is to run it yourself and do a comparison, Cloudflare versus without Cloudflare or Cloudflare versus 
provider B. Then from there, you can see the difference. Uh, but generally, that the rule of thumb, if your visitors are far from your servers, meaning that if you have a service here in Singapore and your visitor is regional or global, you m more likely you will need a CDM because that will extend the reach of your site from just Singapore to the rest of the world, right? To be closer to, to, to your visitors, yeah. So that's the concept about, you know, CDN, yeah. It's to be closer, yeah. Uh, based on the release criteria, sure. Sir, yeah. Know, mm. say in our site, it's mm. uh, without SSL. Yeah. But because we need to plug that, yes. show that it's yeah. secure. Yeah. Are you still advisable that we should Yes, yes. As a best practice, we, I mean, as a security principle, we want SSL to be end-to-end, -end, meaning that from your user's browser to Cloudflare and from Cloudflare, uh, Cloudflare to your servers or your hosting providers. We want this to be end-to-end uh, -end because without, you know, the weakest link is usually the link that got, you know, exploited, right? So that's definitely recommended from us. Yeah. Now, please. Oh, it's basically unencrypted traffic from Cloudflare to your server. Yeah, meaning that HTTP only to your origin, to your servers. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's another very good question. <laughs> yeah, so by default, Cloudflare have a set of, um, have a set of uh, uh, cacheable file extensions. Um, you can find this article by, just by Googling that, <laughs> Cloudflare fi file extensions. So out of the box, we cache all the commonly seen static or cacheable file contents. Uh, for example, you know, JPEG, JS, uh, where is CSS? CSS is here. Yeah, so these are typically, those are the things we see don't typically change and we cache them by default. Yeah, but one thing to notice is that we don't cache HTML by default. Yeah, we don't cache HTML. So you, sometimes if as a WordPress, owner, you want to cache your entire web page, you need to use something special called cache everything. It's a feature, I think it's a feature available to pro plan or something like that. It's definitely available here. Yeah. Sorry? Custom assets. Custom assets? Yeah, totally. That's something can be done with cache everything. Yeah, you can. You can, note, if you notice, MP4 is not here, but with cache everything, you can cache MP4. Yeah. yeah. Stream, like. No, you have in your stream offering, right? Which is yeah, 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 yeah. Very good point. Yeah, thanks for highlighting that. Um, so I think today's session is primarily based on use cases, uh, mostly focusing on the free plan. But if you have specific use cases, I uh, strongly recommend you to, of course, try our service first before drawing conclusion. And secondly, is to look at uh, the different plans we have. Um, uh, because um, a lot of things we do, like WAF and you know, stream like video delivery, uh, you mentioned just now, are not uh, part of the standard package. But the free plan package is you know, the, probably the best you can get in this market right now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> yep. All right. So, any more questions? Yep. Yeah, please. Um, yeah. I understand today, like, mm. uh, as far as I mm. understand the criteria, yeah. Yeah. criteria has a, from many minutes for the WordPress website. Uh -huh. And now I'm managing the, my WordPress site. Mm. And, uh, uh, but, uh, if I use Cloudflare, you I think your question is how the way, one mechanism we have to prevent your domain being hijacked by someone else? Is that a question? Uh, or how do we prevent people from... Uh, not it's very, very easy to use for the WordPress, mm. right? But uh, <coughs> is there any risks to using Cloudflare mm. to use, use for my WordPress site? 
อ๋อมิ้นไปไปว่าไป um I really couldn't think of any um like risking like security or something else uh. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So I think your question is about with Cloudflare right now. We have uh, 10 million uh, domains on us. A lot of them are free. I think your question is how do you prevent user A? Are there any risk because we have so many too many users? Is that kind of a question? Yeah. Sorry, I don't speak under oh, okay. yeah, Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So I think one thing, um, but I, I rather take it in a positive light because uh, with 10 million um, domains, we actually get lots of attacks going on our traffic any moment, any given moment. Or actually, Zigis has a dashboard that has all the ongoing DDoS attacks. It's all thousands, tens of thousands, or lots of requests per second, right? So with that information, actually, we, what we did is that we, we captured that information and assigned the threat score to every IP address we see on network, right? And we use that to protect your website because we know what IP address is malicious and we will challenge those IP address when they come, right? So instead of a threat, I think it's more like a benefit, like something that's unique to Cloudflare because of our scale, yeah. Yeah, sorry to, for being too specific to Cloudflare, but can't speak for other vendors, yeah, in this case, yeah. There's no more questions. We have the space till nine. Yep. So That's if it. we just want to chill out and mingle and network for a bit, then we're all good. So thanks to Cloudflare and thank you. Thanks for having us and thanks for the pizza and drinks. Yeah. Time is there anything else? Yeah.